Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone. Right, I'm fishing a brand new mark today uh, in Holyhead. Uh, some of you might recognize it. I've kept meaning to fish it last couple of years but never had a chance. Uh, Adam fished it a few times and he's coming down uh, in an about an hour or so with his mate Ellis. Um, I've literally set my uh, 13 foot uh, any fish anywhere. What is it? Two on four, four on bait uh, with the flow set up. I'll quickly show you the flow set up I've got for the session. Basically, just small float. Uh, half an ounce uh, let into the into swivel and down to 22 pound fluorocarbon about three foot long down to size four hook bait wise just a small piece of mackerel like this all I'm gonna do Thread it through a few times, like so. Hook's nice and proud there. Um, it's dead on low water now. Um, I'm not sure what state of the tide uh, good for a uh, garfish here. I've got a um, stop knot here as well. For now, I'm fishing probably about four feet, four foot deep. But it's low water now and a bit of a chop out there. Uh, when I checked the um, wind early on, it was offshore wind, but it looks like an onshore wind now. So, might struggle with this float because of the wind blowing into my face. Well, get this one casted out. Hopefully, get a um, fresh bait for this evening's uh, Hosan Congo fishing. Um, already, I've got I've got mackerel, bullery, and squid there. And then on my way here, stopped off for half an hour, quick pumping. Some lovely size blow there, blow looks as you can see. About 50 worms there, some monsters there. Yeah, uh, lovely evening, about 17, de 17 degrees. Uh, it's gonna be lovely sunset in a bit. Like I said, it's uh, dead on low. I'll get this uh, float out if I can bit of a chop out there and then wind coming at me and uh, hopefully get a couple of nice uh, garfish and uh, it'll be my first ever one as well so stay tuned everyone hopefully get to show you some nice hoss maybe a conga later on saying that you get all sorts of species here uh, Paul Brooks he fished here not long ago he had a nice nice session on the garfish and uh, you get hoss, you get conga, uh, coli on the lures, um, you get pollock, ballon ras, garfish, bass, sea trout, you name it. Uh, honestly, one of the best uh, best mark uh, <laughs> you, you can ever fish really in Anglesey. Uh, but I never had a chance to fish it, so get this uh, float out and uh, hopefully get back to it with a nice garfish. There we go guys, first ever garfish, uh, I was thinking of uh, giving up on it, 
only had a couple of cast but the wind literally blowing it and uh, blowing towards the rocks and uh, snagging me but um, I decided to hold the hold the rod near the water's edge and uh, managed to see the uh, float pop down and uh, first ever got a fish and a nice bait for later get in Right, let's see if we can get some more. A couple more will do for tonight's fishing. Nice fresh bait. Just a quick show of where I'm casting. Because it's windy, if you cast that way there, mouth of the uh, inlet there, it just drags you in and snags you. So what I did, just cast over here. See if I can get you a live action um, Looks like I overfilled the reel as well Got a nice wind knot before Right, it's blowing a hue here right, Let's get this out There we go Not far out, about 10 yards out that's the float there. Let's see if we can get you a live action there. I'm not sure if we can pick up the float there, guys. So. Get the slack off of it. As you can see the wind and drag me to the right already. I might have to cast it again over to the left. Yeah. I'll have to cast to the right again. Or left. They're fishing about three to four, four foot depth on the rig because it's quite, it's not shallow, I don't think it's shallow, shallow here, but I see it's low tide, probably about six foot deep right now. Unfortunately, it's too windy. The flow's very close in now, as you can see. Yeah, not picked the right date for this sort of fishing. I'll right, cast back out again. I don't want to whack it because. I've overfilled the reel, getting wind knot. <coughs> That's better. That went well. And the rod is a bit overkill for this sort of fishing. I wasn't actually coming here. I was gonna go try for hounds, Fleetwood way. And then spoke to one of my mates, John. He said he's going to Markham Way. Uh, packed up for that, but I couldn't find any peeler. Oh, there we go. Oh, I missed it. That was a good bite. All right, try again.
Right, looks like they're out, out there. Yeah, uh, couldn't find a peeler. Kindly John offered me uh, some frozen peeler crop to fish with him. But um, end up coming here. Uh, Adams and uh, his mate Ellis coming down. Try for Hoss and the Conga this evening. Big tight. So, ideal conditions. Bit, bit of a onshore wind. I feel that will turn to offshore. Hope you guys can see the float. Had a nice bite before. Come on. As you can see the wind dragged the floor to the right again. I've passed again here. Guard on, guard on, guard fish on. <laughs> hey, like Second. Second Get in. Uh, just as this Adam and Ellis walked in. <laughs> Fish on! Well, that'll do, I think. Can't be bothered with it. Too windy. There we go. Nice little guard there. Fiddle it. <laughs> Get in. Better size, I think. Bigger than the first one, I reckon. Nice bait. What you reckon, Adam? That's going to catch your hoss tonight, mate. Yeah, <laughs> it will turn into a hoss, hopefully, later on. Right, well, get the big ross ready now. I think nearly that time, I think. What you reckon, Adam? Big rods? Yeah. Yep, yeah. I'll catch you guys in a bit. Right, conga rig ready. About two, two and a half uh, foot long bite trace down to single eight hole uh, meat hook. Uh, about 150 pound line. <laughs> and a uh, two ounce lead. Literally, I'm gonna drop this off. About five to ten yards out off the rocks. Um, see if we can get uh, with conga. Obviously, dogfish about. Uh, Hoss will take that, and uh, might even get a lobster. Who knows? Get this one out and uh, get the other rods ready. There we go. Second bait's ready. Not the best looking bait in the world, but. Loads of juice coming out of it, mackerel and a squid wrap uh, on a pulley panel, 100 pounds straight through, uh, 6 0 down the bottom there, a little bit of rusty from Norway, and a 5 0 circle on top, a bit of a gloomy uh, beads there. Send this out, probably about 30 40 yards, aiming for hus in a four ounce gripper. Well the tide's supposed to be flooding in now. But when it starts flooding in here, usually you see the current just rushes in. Um, uh, Adam getting ready. That's ready to go. My second rod going out now. So vicious luck guys, uh, that wind picking up instead of dropping. Oh, sorry if you pick up a uh, wind noise as well. 
So I'll stay tuned, get back to you in a bit. There we go. First... Oh, that was close. There we go, guys. First cast horse on the conga, conga bait, uh, on the macro bait there. Caught right in the scissors. Not a bad one. My PB is eight pound odd, so this will be probably similar weight. We'll get it unlocked. You got any back of them to weigh the fish? Yeah, I have. Yeah. Yeah. We'll uh, we'll give it away quickly and then get it back. Get in. Ah, the Russ in there weighing back. Good old Aldi shopping bag. Oh. What with that? Nine and a half. Nine and a half pounds. That's a new PB for me. Yep, definitely a PB. Ideal, mate. Uh, just over a pound more, more than my PB. Thanks to the lot who we weren't even paying attention, thinking about moving actually, talking about moving elsewhere. And I uh, hold your fish, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Have a little cuddle with it. You get. <laughs> Oh, that's it. Yeah. Got the head, yeah. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, got it. So strong, aren't they? Yeah. This is my. I uh, can't remember last time I put a hus. Come on, second, guys. This is a very angry female. <laughs> yeah, get a nice. Come on. There we go. There we go, guys. Don't want to hold it in it much longer. And uh, get it released. Hopefully, get a better one. See you guys. There we go. It's going back to fight another day. Down to the depths. Cheers, guys. Well, this is the horse rig. Came back, literally, just came back with the bones, nothing left on it. Stripped, proper stripped. Now, I've got a garfish in the middle. And uh, two squid on, on the side, well, uh, each side. Nice, juicy. Going out in a minute. Well, uh, so far, not a bad session for me. Two garfish early on on the float, and then first cast PB hus. Um, it's a very strange tide here at the moment. It's wind against tide, so usually water comes in rushing in, but there's no water rushing in yet, and uh, high tide in a few hours' time, we believe. It is 11 o'clock, it's into high, Adam. Is it 11 o'clock high, yeah? Enough what? 11 o'clock high, high tide, yeah? Yeah, sorry, yeah. But, Looks like there's no water coming in yet. <sighs> but, unfortunately, the weatherman lied us again. Uh, it was, it was going to be offshore wind, but it's onshore. We're going to give it a bit, probably half an hour here. Fish out there, I've oh, just seen nine and a half pound PV host. So happy with that. Uh, I think Adam had a little run before, came to nothing. We'll get this one back out there. At the moment, just fishing big baits, targeting big fish. But I have got a nice blow look with me. 
see how we get on here. We might end up in the beach mark, on the beach mark here. Targeting bass maybe. There we go, low elevate that. Plus or Congo written all over it. Oh, stay tuned guys, get this one out. Hopefully we get something else. I'm getting a little bit of a run there. Let's see if it develops well into a fish. It could well be a lobster. But. Nah. No. Nothing on it. I think lobster in it. Yeah, I think it could have been lobster, yeah. That's not been out long, has it? No, I was just cast out as well. Pretty much in the same spot as the last one was, and that was nearly stripped. But so yeah. I think there's a few lobsters about tonight. Well, let's see if that comes back, whatever it was. Well, round two, guys. Uh, change your spot. End up uh, packing up at a rush. Wind was not great, and uh, there was a weed and loads of crabs, and the lobsters is stripping the bait. So, end up coming to a beach mark, uh, met Brian uh, from uh, Vero, some of, you, some of you guys already know that he's got a YouTube channel going. I'll, uh, I'll tag him under the video and then leave, it, leave his channel below here now. So the target's here, uh, raised, chance of thrown back raised. Small die raised. Turbot apparently and a bass and the usual doggy. First casting, one rod my usual bass rig out, uh, one up one down. And I uh, got a pulley panel uh, for the rays. Baited with it, still got the base from the last session, just chucked it in the cool box and whacked uh, it out again. Uh, garfish and a uh, double squid. Nice bit of a uh, condition out there, nice swell coming in, uh, ideal bass conditions. Uh, tide wise, uh, fishing uh, to high water, I think about about an hour left now to high water. And, uh, we're gonna fish it down about that. I'm not sure how long I'm staying, but uh, yeah, uh, I'll fish it down to low water. Hopefully, we can a couple of fish out of here. So far, I did all right, a couple of garfish and a TB hus. If Brian catches, I'll get him on the video as well. So stay tuned. Hopefully, we get some fish out, out on the camera, guys. There's a bass in between the weed there on this small one but a target achieved, one of the targets Nice little schooly bass As you can see the weed is pretty bad but um, we'll carry on It was on the uh, Usual bass rig with a blow look. There we go, ready to go. What? Off he goes. Check in. Yeah, it's gone. It's gone. Well, it's not a blank. On the second mark, get that weed sorted out and uh, on top of the rod tips as well. Get this way, find it again, somewhere. 
proper kelpy weed well I'll put this comma down sort this rig out get a fresh bit out there there you go stay tuned everyone hopefully they'll get bigger according to Brian there he thinks it fishes better on the uh, ebbing tide so we're coming to pretty much slack tide soon I think so catch you guys in a bit right that's the end of the session guys uh, very hard work weed, weed was a pain managed to beat a blank small securely uh, Brian blanked but uh, he's heading to somewhere else now, fishing down to low water. Uh, it's about one o'clock in the morning now. Uh, maybe just gone past. Yeah, hard work here, but um, just got to meet up Brian uh, finally. And uh, good company, have a good chin whack with him. And uh, yeah, not much else to report really. Just a weed after weed and one bite well i've had two pin white in as well I'm not counting them <laughs> yeah uh, first mark i've just seen uh two garfish and uh, a nice pb hus and uh all the garfish is going with brian now hopefully that'll uh, turn into a hus for him uh that's it enjoyable evening uh first mark we weed was not weed weed wasn't too bad but the crops and uh Lobster stri stripping the baits and uh, wind was uh, blowing off here, so end up coming here. And uh, Adam and Ellis uh, fished elsewhere, and Ellis had a nice bolos as well. So, yeah, that's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it, even though it's not been a very exciting video, but uh, it's something for the channel if you want to watch it or not. So, stay tuned for more. Uh, see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.